down. What is this on the floor? Get my neck back hey, hey YouTube, it is Pine Size Lee back again with another video and today is a special video because today is my designer clothing in a kid size. I guess you could call it a haul, but I'm going to put you guys on today on what you should buy, what you shouldn't buy if you are small enough to fit into kid size designer and they do go pretty big depending on the brand. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys what to watch out for, what brands do cut very, very small and um, everything under the sun because I am an expert in kid size and clothes because I am the size of a kid, unfortunately. Um, I'm about to be 21, but I am, I don't even know, I'm like a 12 year old. I'm probably smaller than a 12 year old. Anyways, I'm going to put you guys on all my small friends, all my large friends, and just things. So I just want to give a really, really quick background before I get into the haul. Um, both places that I get the clothes from, because there's only two, is either Child's Play Clothing or Luisa Via Roma. Um, I believe both of them are based in England, or maybe depending on where you get your exact item from, but I'm pretty sure it's England. Um, I've ordered more from Luisa Via Roma than I have from Child's Play Clothing, but they're both good, both are like, both I trust. Um, now, one thing I just want to say about Luisa Via Roma is that um, when you do order, you get your item in either a box this size or you get a really big one. I have both a small and a really big one. And what I can say about these boxes, the boxes in general, these boxes are very hard, very sturdy. I guess it's the amount of money you pay for one item. The least they can do is give you a very nice box, a very sturdy box. And um, yes, these boxes are. I've never had a hard box like this in my life, and I know Gucci and other brands also give like boxes that are pretty hard as well. But the size, the great box. But that's really it. Just background again. Child's Play clothing, use of your own. And yeah, time to try. So my first piece is this Burberry crew neck. I got it from Child's Play Clothing in a size 12Y. Now Burberry is one brand that I can say has um, really, really big sizing and um, you can actually fit it because there's some brands. Actually, I'm not going to say some. Givenchy, Givenchy. They cut their clothes, their kids' clothes, so, so small. I don't know if they don't want adult-sized people who can fit into kids' clothes to um, buy it. So they make it really, really small. But I have a shirt. I'm going to try to add a picture if I can find it. And it was an uh, eight-year-old size. So it was supposed to be size of eight-year-old. And that shirt was so small. Anyways, back to this Burberry. So it again is a size 12 wide and I got it from Child's Play Clothing. I do not have the price on the top of my head, so I am gonna put it in this video, but I believe it was in the range of 200 something, which is not bad for a crew neck because at least of a good quality. Um, this part I believe is rain resistant and same rain resistant. It has the Burberry logo here, the new one. And yeah, it's pretty warm. Um, it's very versatile. It has enough colors that you can wear and pair with anything. And go on to the next item. Okay, now we're going to the next item. I feel like the better the item or like the quality or the demand, the brands make it smaller, if that makes sense. So like this crew neck, this is really nice, don't get me wrong, but I feel like, you know, more people might be inclined to buy the cardigan because it's versatile, you can wear it to work, you can wear it anywhere. I mean, you can wear this too, but I feel like this is more versatile, so more older people might come to buy it, so they're gonna make it small so you can't really fit into it. Maybe I'm not be crazy, maybe I might not be crazy. Um, Don't kill me, Burberry, but that's just what it seems. A lot of little brands, you know, they try to get you. So, you know, because this, this is a little bit smaller, and I do have chubby arms, most definitely. Eventually. But this is our Burberry cardigan. This is a size kids 12. Again, I'll put the name and I'm gonna put everything in the description for like links if they still have these specific items. Um another thing too, a lot of these items I did buy when they were on sale or I got a discount off of what was the retail price on that website. Um I also paid two something for this, but again, this is very good quality, it's very warm, and I feel like this piece is what I get the most compliments on when I wear it every week. I paid like $200 something for it. It's real, 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 real. But this isn't buttoned up. Well, 
the way. I don't typically blunt in it, or if I do, I might even the first one open. And then there's a mirror right on the other side. So, next item is my Balenciaga hoodie. Now, this is also a fan favorite, but I haven't worn it that much. I am gonna wear more. This now, this sizing, again, like what I said before, where brands have like a more popular demanded item that they're gonna make it smaller in a kid size. Cause this is literally like my size, like perfect. It could be a little bit bigger, but it fits, it's perfect. And um, let me give a little detailing, a little Balenciaga. I'm giving y'all a little bit of detailing. It has a little Balenciaga logo here. And then, Oh, no. But yeah, so you have the Balenciaga logo on the back. And I got this from Luisa Villaroma. This was probably like my second or third item that I got from Luisa Villaroma. But I got it in size 8. A kid's 8. Now, Leandro, why would you get a kid's 8 when you have two Burberry sweaters in a kid's 12? So, I got this in a kid's size 8 because I also have a Balenciaga shirt here. This is a Balenciaga shirt, and I actually have it in two different colors, um, black and gray. The gray is MIA. It's in my clothing bin. Did not have time for that, so black is going to represent and put on for all the Balenciaga tees in my collection. Anyways, back to the sweater, though. So, yes, I got it in a size of 8. Um, the biggest size Balenciaga goes up to is about a 12 or a 14. Now, a 14 would have been too big. Um, a 12 probably would have been perfect, or even a 10. Now, again, this is an 8, so it fits me perfect. So, when I want like a hoodie where like I just wanted to sit here and sort of oversized, but you could kind of, you know, see my face. You know, like, this is perfect for it, but I really like it. The quality is really good on it, I can say it's very, very thick. But then again, I'm paying all this money. I'm going to put pricing somewhere up there. But, um, so next up on the roster is my Gucci socks. Now, I'm going to put them on. But, um, I got these from the Gucci store, actually. $70. Not $60. Not $80. $70 for these. And I regret paying seventy dollars because I haven't even worn them yet. I will wear them. I had like this whole idea to wear with these and slides, and they were never executed. I typically wear a size five in kids or five and a half in kids, boys, um, or girls. Anyone that goes five, five and a half. And then for women, I am a seven or seven and a half, maybe a six and a half, but not really. So majority is seven, seven and a half. So if you're thinking about buying Gucci kid socks. You can fit into Gucci kids. Um, they're regular socks. They don't really give much of a luxury to be able to luxury thickness if you are thinking about buying them. But if you got the money, buy it. They could be less than 70 or more than 70. I don't know. I'm not into buying luxury socks anymore. I'm good on my tiny socks. Anyways, um, my legs are stubby, but they might be a little bit hairy. They are soft though, that's one thing. They're not squeezing my legs and all my stubby leg friends. You guys know when a sock squeezes your leg. They don't squeeze though, so that's really good. So I would say that, that you know, it gives that. So maybe you gotta pay like $70 for socks that don't squeeze, but it's a little sick. So this is the last piece in the collection. This is my Balenciaga shirt. The logo is here on the front and here across the back i'm gonna put a closer view so you guys can see what it really looks like but i paid like a hundred i don't know what it's gonna be up here um i got this from louis severe roma this was actually my first ever purchase from louis severe roma and i was very happy with what i got um i was balling so you know i'm gonna pay a bunch of dollars but this is a design alone so we can't be we can't be complaining about price being a design alone um yeah, I'm just something for it. This is a kid size eight, which is why I decided to buy the hoodie in an eight because I figured you know it'll probably fit exactly the same. I feel like this has a little bit more space than the hoodie, but um, yeah, this is really it. I have it in gray as well. Gray is a bit right beyond the summer clothes bin, um, and we'll find it one day. That day is not today. Though. So here's a couple of tips and tricks for buying designer and kids clothing before I let you guys off in this video. So, so first thing is sizing. I feel like I said a little bit earlier in the video, but designer brands, they go from baby, infant, all the way to teenager, and they typically, well not typically, they do, they go by 
our age. So if you see a size 14, it's supposed to be like an estimated European 14 year old, like what size they would be, what size their arms, legs, pants, whatever, whatever you buy. So um, if you're looking to buy, you know, you see 8, 10, 14, just think about hmm, size 6, 6 year old, size 8, 8 year old. Tip number two would be to always look at the measurements in a sizing chart. Because as you can see, you can have two size 12s, but they can fit different. So always look at the sizing chart, look at the measurements. If you have to buy measuring tape, because you do want to purchase multiple designer pieces in a child's size, and you know you're small enough to fit it, I would recommend buying measuring tape. But always look at the sizing chart. Tip number three is I would say buying it while you can. Now, if you have the money and you really, really want the piece, buy it, but if you don't have the money, it's clothing, you can always get something else. But for you guys who do wanna buy it and you have money, I would say buy it while you can because places like Child's Play Clothing and Boots to be Roman, they don't always stay on the website. A lot of people, they see that, oh, I can get Gucci for $80, $90, they're gonna buy it on the spot. So I feel like that's not the most all. That was a little bit better. They're gonna buy it on the spot. So if you see the size, buy it right away because it's not going to stay there. Tip number four, buying bottoms are not gonna be the same as buying tops. So if you are small and petite from top to bottom, you more likely will have better luck than if you're like petite on the top, but you got some body out body on the bottom, you got some legs. So typically designer bottoms and kid sizes, I try to go straight from, unless it's like a really, really, really big size, like possibly a 14, maybe you can fit it. But I try to stay away from bottom. Or if you do want to buy a bottom, I would probably recommend a skirt more than anything else than jeans and pants, especially because these are, you know, online pants that you have to order from. It's not a store that you can walk into, but if you do walk into the store, you can try on this different. In online purpose, I usually stay away from bottoms. I prefer tops, maybe dress, jacket. And I would say tip number five, my last tip, is to compare pricing, most definitely. Because I know I said it on one of the other tips ago to buy it when you see it, that is true. But compare pricing. Don't just see, oh yeah, this is a good price, I'm gonna buy it from one website. Check both websites. Check what we severe on, check child's play clothing. Um, see both before you buy right away. But yes, price check because you want the best deal. And most definitely go to the sales section first. Go to the clearance section first. Don't go for full price because nine times out of ten, if those full price items do not sell, they will go to the clearance and the sales section anyway. So check sale, check clearance, and compare price and most definitely. And I would say be smart with your money, but if you're looking to buy a child designer, you are already being smart with your money. But don't get too much designer in Make sure you shop for Forever 21. But yes, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I am in a semi empty room. That's why my volume is a little bit loud. My, my sound is all over the place. But, um,. Yes, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like, subscribe, comment down below any other child designer places that you are reputable who can help me out, help anybody else who's watching this video out. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Share this video to your friends or your petite friends who you want to buy design for, or if you buy it for yourself or your mom, your dad. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.